Hey everyone, the name's Eric Thor, and I have to tell you guys, I'm sitting here in Edinburgh, and it's such an amazing experience. It's just been one day, I've seen so much, I love the atmosphere, I love the people, I love this experience of being here. And uh, I wanted to make a quick first impressions video about the Scottish people, and note that these are, these are based on first impressions, just my short interactions with staff personnel and people I encounter on the street and similar. So this is just a first impression video. And uh, first, uh, I think I came here like expecting uh, the UK to be a very honest culture and uh, an expressive country, a country I think with um, a lot of feeling types and also a country with uh, uh, a lot of people that are very nice and uh, very friendly overall. I think that I kind of forgot how polite uh, people can be here, like uh, how service oriented people are, how uh, friendly they are when you talk to them. And I can imagine that uh, I think that there seems to be a big range that. Uh, if you talk to a Scottish or British person, person, you might notice that they have a big range. They can be really nice and they can also be re really uh, angry with you if you, of course, if, uh, if you're rude or if you uh, do something stupid. I think that you get a big range of emotions here. I think that people have a lot of ex uh, expressiveness and that they are people that say what they feel. That's just my first impression, what I get. Like, I usually I tend to see that people who are more kind uh, are usually also the people that are the most capable of not being kind when uh, it is necessary. I see also, like, I notice a lot of charity in a sense here, in the sense that people seem to be helping each other out. I notice a lot of charity organizations everywhere. I see a lot of people that are doing something to contribute to things uh, like homelessness or similar. Of course I do also see poverty here. I see that there is a level of poverty here sometimes uh, that strikes me because I'm, from, I'm spoiled I guess with Swedish experience in some ways. Uh, I think that you get a bigger contrast here. I and my girlfriend, uh, she would say that you get a big range of different people here. You get people that are really, really cool, and also people that get that are a little weird. <laughs> you get that mix for some reason. That's just uh, uh, one uh, thing she felt looking at the people and observing the people here. And I would agree with that to uh, some degree, I think. <laughs> and uh, just being here, in some ways I feel like this is uh, such a good place for people who are interested in stories, fairy tales, writing, literature, storytelling, art. I see so many art spaces, I see so many, uh, I see the storytelling houses, I see the Edinburgh dungeons with the ghost stories, I see that atmosphere of people that love stories and that just also speaks to uh, these people being feeling types rather than uh, them being some other type. I think that with the, the Scottish community, and I can only speak for Edinburgh here, and just see is that this is a great place for anyone who is interested in writing or being a writer. I went to Yakey Rowling's cafe where she sat down, and I think that. Edinburgh has really marketed itself as a good place for writers. I see pubs that say sit down and talk to your favorite writers or authors because they all come here. I see that um, there's also kind of this culture with food that I love, the breakfast, the brunch places. I noticed that I guess maybe because there is a lot of rain here. You also get the kind of people who love rain, who love to sit by the campfire with a warm beer or with a warm whiskey, I guess, uh, with uh, some form of uh, uh, hot beverage or with friends, just chatting, just talking, just telling, sharing stories with each other, rather than maybe uh, constantly being out on the go, doing something, working, being busy, you know, that's... Uh, I don't feel that rush here, maybe there is that rush, of course, uh, this is a big city, so there's usually something happening here. 
uh, but um, for some reason I think if I would assign a personality type to Scotland maybe it would be ENFJ uh, possibly I uh, think that a lot of the popular figures that I've studied uh, like actors and uh, musicians I've seen quite a few that seem like ENFJs uh, so maybe that's just the pop culture uh, but still it's uh, it might be a sign that it's something representative of people, something people enjoy and love in Scotland. People love the storyteller figures, the people that uh, are very friendly and expressive and that can uh, get people together in a way like uh, feeling judging types can. When you come to Scotland, I think you come here expecting some um, form of magic and um, that's also because I read so much fiction, I read so much fantasy and I realized that uh, a lot of that fantasy is based on places like this. Uh, it's based on languages that speak like this, it's based on names of cities and streets that are based on street names that exist here. On, uh, areas that exist here, a lot of the diagon alleys, the uh, uh, hills, the uh, dragons, the lore, the unicorn, the Loch Ness monster, I think that exists here and that's something that I can relate to as someone from northern Sweden also. Uh, I feel like when you grow up in areas like that with a lot of nature and with, when, <laughs> with in touch with forests, with uh, uh, hills, with green grass and pastures, you get that experience of uh, that makes you dream, that makes you feel, that makes you uh, experience things and think about stories and form mythologies. I think often when you have these old houses and this history preserved, that also contributes to that ghastly experience in a sense that uh, how you, when you live in buildings like this, I think it's easy to imagine things and to hear things from because old buildings make noises, old buildings sound, old boy buildings have a little soul, and uh, I think that sparks the imagination, and that's all usually mostly for the positive. Maybe sometimes that will freak the fuck out of you, but uh, sometimes that just. Uh, engage the, engages those people that love to write and that love to create stories. Uh, once again, these are just uh, first impressions. So feel free to tell me below if I'm wrong or if it's not like this or if I'm stereotyping or whatever. But at least uh, I want to say that I have a really positive experience of Scotland. I really thought of moving here and coming here I just feel like more like oh I want to live here, I want to be here. This is my kind of place, the place where I feel uh, alive in a sense. And uh, I'm curious also what's your kind of favorite place? What place do you think is the best for your personality type or for your development or for your passion or your interests? Uh, feel free to share your perspectives down below with me and let's create a good discussion. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, may your neurons be with you.